What do you work as? By chance, anything related to the English language? Food and beverage? What? Look, Chloe, I'ma be blunt. I could yell into a ravine and the echo I would hear could hold a better conversation than this. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Justice. Today we're talking murdered by words. Let's do it. Republicans will be like, pull yourself by your bootstraps, and then make fun of AOC for having been a bartender. She started from the bottom, now she's a congresswoman. That's definitely pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. That's because that's not the Republican approved way to pull yourself by your own bootstraps, which is getting millions of dollars in stock from your parents. Trust fund babies. One of these kids complaining that her childhood was stolen. All of them are complaining, but just one of them is being heard. If you really cared about the others, you would be being helping some of them instead of telling the internet how fragile you are. It's amazing how people try to silence you when you point out something is wrong. Well, it's not as bad as this over here. Maybe not, but you're not doing anything about that either. Law enforcement source. 19 officers fired into UPS truck could exceed 200 rounds. Excessive much? Whew. Thank God the cops opened fire and killed the two suspects, the hostage, and a random passerby. Or the bad guys would have gotten away with some insured jewelry in their easily identifiable super slow moving UPS truck that was already being GPS tracked and had a helicopter following it. Oh, those cops acting in great service of the people once again. Hey sis, cover up. Your daughter is right there. Chrissy Teigen. At Papa Bear 05, she sucked it for months and doesn't mind it much. <laughs> Feel free to not follow me or look at my pictures if you disagree with what I post. Reuters Top News. Rise in U.S. suicides highlights need for new depression drugs. We're depressed because we're overworked, underpaid, can't afford our student debt, can't afford a doctor, can't afford a home, can't afford a family while people at the top take most of the value of our labor for themselves. We don't need better drugs. We need a better economy. And the stock market doesn't show a better economy because most of us can't afford stock either. This is what Kenyon Martin said about Jeremy Lin. Do I need to remind this boy his last name is Lin? Martin said with a sarcastic face and tone. Like, come on, man. Let's stop it with these people. There is no way possible he would have made it on one of our teams with that BS on his head. Come on, man. Somebody needs to tell him. Like, all right, bro, we get it. You want to be black. Like, we get it. But your last name is Lin. J. Lin 7. Hey, man. It's all good. You don't have to like my hair and definitely entitled to your opinion. Actually, I legit grateful you sharing it, to be honest. At the end of the day, I appreciate that I have dreads and you have Chinese tattoos because I think it's a sign of respect. And I think as minorities, the more we appreciate each other's culture, the more we influence mainstream society. Thanks for everything you did for the Nets and hoops. Had your poster up on my wall growing up. What do they say? They say imitation is the biggest form of flattery. All right. Rock your dreads, man. Pay respect. Donald Trump. So ridiculous, Greta must work on her anger management problem, then go to a good old fashioned movie with a friend. Chill Greta, chill. This marks the first time Trump went after an underage girl without Jeffrey Epstein's help. Ouch. <laughs> but I guarantee it won't be the last. Meet the Mona Lisa of the Prado, the earliest known copy of Da Vinci's best portrait Similarity in the undersketch of the painting indicates that this was very likely painted concurrently with the original Mona Lisa by a student of Da Vinci. The copy has eyebrows. Your response to a beautiful piece of artwork done by Leonardo Da Vinci himself is she's got eyebrows? All right, all intelligent life has been lost. Yo, snooty McSnotwine. The Mona Lisa's vanished eyebrows have been the subject of debate and analysis in the art expert community for hundreds of years. 
long before your parents squirted water at each other from across the clown car and then honked their bicycle horns to indicate they really wanted to make a smug, insufferable clown baby together. Bette Midler, what's wrong with this picture? That the boomer doesn't realize that the museum in question has an app that teaches the history of all the works in the museum because they can't afford the staff members to teach people anymore due to the budget cuts since museums are a waste of taxpayer money, according to boomers. The arts and sciences? That's waste of taxpayer money. Tax cuts for the rich? Yep, there's money for that. Oh my goodness, look what socialism has done to my beautiful country. It's preserved our ancient history, given us health care, and our money is worth more than the U.S. dollar. It's so horrible. Really? Why are thousands of people from your country hopping the border to come into the U.S.? From Italy? <laughs> are you okay, sir? Progressive males are not men. They move and gesticulate like women. The hand over mouth gesture is one example. Physically repulsive. Conservatives get offended by the weirdest things. Imagine masculinity so fragile that you can't even touch your own face. Ew, you're such a girl. If God made you a male, that's not a mistake. If God made you a female, that's not a mistake. Saying any different is insulting a perfect creator. Read your word. God made you a brunette, yet you are now a blonde. God gave you bad vision. Yet you fix it with glasses. God gave you crooked teeth, yet you straighten them with braces. Trans people change the outside to match the inside just like you do. Sit down, Jesus said to. I skied back to the pole again to take this photo for all those men who commented, make me a sandwich, on my TEDx talk. I made you a sandwich, ham and cheese. Now ski 37 days and 600 kilometers to the South Pole and you can eat it. 16-year-old Australian explorer, Jade Hemester. Well done, Jade. <laughs> well done. Hello, I would like to cancel my appointment and receive my deposit back, as well as a 10% inconvenience fee. I was not made aware during my consultation that Bradley is a convicted felon. I do not want any prison monkey putting a permanent thing on my body. Thanks. You want us to refund your deposit, plus pay an inconvenience fee? <laughs> Deposits are non-refundable. You are correct. He is a convicted felon. He was convicted 20 years ago, served 13 years, has since gained his rights back, is an outstanding member of the community. On top of owning the shop, we do charity work, donate money to research funds, speak with convicts and assist them with getting back on their feet. From the bottom of my heart, screw you. I came up from nothing. You can't tell me crap. You're barred from the shop. Don't come back. 100% of the proceeds from this revenue will go to suicide prevention programs worldwide. We got this, YouTube. Since our friends at YouTube shared our passion for top 10 lists and used the format to unveil YouTube Rewind 2019, but seemed to have omitted a lot of the people and stories that stood out on the platform. We thought we'd add our input on the list and present you the top 10 stories and people we actually care about on YouTube. You're welcome, YouTube. We appreciate the effort with the 2019 Rewind, but maybe leave the ranking to the professionals. Katie Hopkins, holy hell, did the Muslim mayor choose this sorry excuse for a tree? Shame on London. Get this scrag and changed. The Christmas tree in London is a gift from Norway, Katie. They give us one every year as a thank you for our help fighting fascists like you. Institutionalized racism is a one-way street. Racism as used is sociology, history. Economics is institutionalized racism. That's a made-up definition peddled by postmodernists in a, a misguided attempt to level the playing field. However, it instead deforms a simple and equal definition into one so that only one race can be guilty of it. I see no benefit to equality here at all. You're white, right? No, I'm actually Samoan Tongan, living in New Zealand. Shock. Horror. And the fact you think that you could assume my race because of my opinion confirms who the real racist is here. 
You followed No Nut November. I freaked your girl. We ain't same, bro. My girl is your sister, bruh. <laughs> nice. Ready for a world in which a $50 DNA test can predict your odds of earning a PhD or forecast which toddler gets into a selective preschool? You can do this already with a zip code. All right, everybody, that's all we have for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it to the end, then you are awesome sauce, my friend. Make sure you stay up to date by following the Snapchat and the Twitter. Until next time, justice served. Thank you.